University students are now planning to go on a hunger strike starting Tuesday next week if the lecturer strike is not resolved. The students were addressing a news conference earlier today said they remain the biggest losers if the strike continues. They now want the government to move fast and avoid the crisis in the universities. We that the issue of lecturer strike is affecting us adversely and students are being infringed. Students can no longer sit in class and attend to their lectures. Since the year began, our learning has been disrupted time and again. And we say time has come for this issue to be addressed with finality. We do not want temporary solutions. We want permanent solutions that will bring an end to this issue of industrial action that infringes on the rights of students. When lecturers went on strike earlier in the year, the students were at the detriment the students suffered. Nobody compensated them. Their learning is disrupted. Their scheduled time to finish is lengthened unnecessarily. Otherwise, this issue can well be addressed once and for all by the government. And we say, if by Tuesday next week this issue will not have been resolved, Wednesday we start a hunger strike along Harambe Avenue, and we are going to do this all through Friday. Yes. We are going to make sure that the government listens to our cry. Yes. We are going to make sure that the government appreciates our effort, appreciates our innovation, and appreciates that many students, especially the privately sponsored, pay fees in excess of 70000 to get a, re a raw deal like this. When lecturers are out of class, they are left at the mercy of no one. And therefore, we say enough is enough. Our donkey is now tired, and it can no longer move. And therefore, we say next week on Tuesday, we meet along Harambe Avenue for the planned demonstration in such a matter. And remember, it is our right to eat. Well, our reporter Shadrach Mitty attended the news conference by university students and now joins us live from our city center studios. Shadrach, what are the students saying and what is really happening in the universities in the absence of the lecturers? Well, Michelle, according to these students, they are saying this is the third time lecturers are going on strike this academic year. And uh, that uh, for them, what is uh, making them uh, get angry even more is uh, what they are terming as deliberate, uh, deliberate ways of make frustrating them and that uh, there has never been any deliberate efforts to deal with this situation once and for all. And even as the persistent, uh, as the situation continues to persist and uh, lecturers boycotting classes, even as they push for the uh, better pay and the full implementation of the CBA they negotiated several years ago, they are saying they continue to be losers. And so for them, they are saying the best way they can come out is, uh, or, or maybe the best way they can make their frustrations known and visible to the entire world and the country at large is to come out in support of the with a view to ensuring that the government comes out and address and uh, pronounce itself to this matter where, uh, so that it can be handled and solved once and for all. Because for them, they are saying there are those people who are supposed to be graduating, for instance, this December, but that one will not be happening. And again, the semester has, has delayed for several months owing to the fact that uh, this strike has, was there several months back now. It was. Uh, it appeared as though that the situation had been solved when the government and the, the inter, inter, inter public university council came out to declare that uh, there had been an agreement between the management of the universities and the lecturers union UASO. But that seems seem not to have happened as it was declared earlier. Because that, had it happened, then according to students, this situation would not be recurring itself. And so for them, they are saying they have a five point action plan that will help them address themselves to this matter with a view to pushing it even further and seeking the attention of all the government and relevant agencies plus the president himself, if at all, 
uh, excuse me, if at all by Wednesday, the uh, Cabinet Secretary for Education, Fred Matiang, and the uh, Public University uh, Council shall not have dealt with this uh, situation once and for all. Back to you, Michelle. All right, and uh, finally, <coughs> Miti, the uh, lecturer's uh, contention here is with regard to a 5.2 billion shilling um, disbursement of money by the government, which is money contained in their collective bargaining agreement, which was uh, uh, agreed back in 2013. That's about uh, five years years ago, do we know the state of the negotiations so far and have we heard from the ministry uh, with regard to the way forward for the lecturers? Well, Michelle, the last time the ministry and the government at large spoke about this matter was the the, the announcement that money had already been dispersed and uh, uh, if there was any problem, then lecturers should be talking to their uh, respective uh, um, um, councils and uh, management of various universities because even as we speak, we have some universities, about three of them, including Bondo University, I think Karatina, and several other universities, about three of them who as we speak, the lecturers are on pay and they are getting all that they discussed of. And so it, 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 it creates a situation of confusion when some lecturers and some universities seem not to have uh, acted upon the CBA, yet some other universities, and those are public universities just like the rest of them, uh, uh, just like the rest uh, have acted upon the same CBA and the situation is going on as normal. And so. We really do not know exactly who, who is uh, speaking the truth, but on one hand, lecturers are saying that uh, no man has been disbursed and uh, the government seems to have reneged on the agreement they, uh, they signed together. And on the other hand, the government says money has been uh, disbursed. So, and the person to blame here, uh, Uni uh, university management, uh, management of various public universities that uh, have not up to now acted upon the same CBA that was discussed, signed, and agreed upon. Back to you, Michelle. All right, many thanks. Uh, Shadrach Miti there with details on the university strike. Students are threatening to go on a hunger strike by Tuesday next week if the situation is not resolved.